whatever it takes. Let's be honest. If there's anybody equipped and more than willing to stand up to the PG-13 Avengers... Yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. It's the violent, vengeful, and very R-rated John Wick. A $14 million bounty on his head. And everyone in the city wants a piece of it. I say the odds are about even. Doc, five seconds. John Wick, excommunicado, in effect, in three, two, one. Finally, kicking the Avengers off their box office pedestal is John Wick Chapter 3, bringing in an estimated $57 million in its debut weekend. That's a better than expected opening weekend for this action franchise and one of Keanu Reeves' personal bests. It's not what you did, son. It's who you did it to. The original John Wick shot its way into theaters back in 2014 with a solid $14 million debut, and the franchise has been on the rise ever since. John Wick Chapter 2 doubled those opening weekend numbers with a $30 million debut in 2017. Flash forward two years later, and John Wick is at the top of the box office with a $57 million debut weekend. Not only that, but this is the second best debut weekend of Keanu Reeves' long box office career. Only The Matrix Reloaded had a better first three days at the box office with a $91 million opening, which I think just goes to show action Keanu is the best Keanu. On to number two. Even if there's a small chance, we owe this to everyone who's not in this room to try. We will. Falling to number two after three weeks at the top of the box office is Avengers Endgame, bringing in an estimated $29 million in its fourth weekend out. Endgame jumped another spot on the all-time domestic box office list by passing up Avatar. But it's still well behind The Force Awakens, which racked up 936 million domestic box office dollars. As for the grand prize, biggest box office earner worldwide that Avatar has held for a decade now, analysts say it's still too close to call. But if Marvel's greatest achievement on film can't topple the record, we can assume it's safe for at least a little while. Last but not least this week is Pokemon Detective Pikachu bringing in an estimated $24.8 million in its second weekend out. As for next week, the Fresh Prince takes a break from Instagram to do his full-time job. Hey, can you make me a prince? There is a lot of gray area in make me a prince. I could just make you a prince. Oh, no. 